Okay, well, I'm just doing something fun here today, just to uh, do something fun. Everybody on the planet has wondered when they throw these things away, is there something else I could do with it besides just toss it? And uh, just for fun today, I made a little uh, pulse motor rotor out of it. And uh, I just poked a hole in the side of this thing and then put crazy glue on it after it got real big so it was loose. This is a, a knitting needle, a yarn a yarning needle, knitting needle, and it's just held on with rubber bands on a plastic box, and it made a uh, very simplistic or simple uh, pulse motor rotor uh, for this thing here. And it's just something that uh, a young experimenter with their parent could build up in a, an hour or two. Uh, on a rainy day or a snowy cold day here in uh, Southern California it was very windy and cold and there's lots of fires going on right now so just wanted to stay inside out of the smoke so I just put this thing together but uh, this is just a little uh, reed switch pulse motor driver there's uh, not much to it it's just a coil of wire reed switch and uh, then a uh, 10 farad 2.7 volt super cap and like I say, this is all this is is a toilet paper roll with some magnets, uh, just stuck on it with magnetism. You don't have to use any glue. There's no glue on here. There's no tools needed. Um, it's a yarning needle, it's a couple rubber bands, plastic bowl, toilet paper roll. You poke a hole in it. You put crazy glue in the hole after you make it big, so that you have a bearing surface. And then you oil it up. These are just some thrust washers here, made out of cardboard. And like I say, uh, if you get this just right, you end up with a, a pulse motor. Very, very simple. But it's a brushless DC motor. That's what this is, is a brushless DC motor. Now something else I did here. Um, the other day I, I was building up one of these uh, new little structures uh, uh, testing different things and that's a that's a ruler that's a wooden ruler you buy them at the dollar store then they have these wooden dowels you could get there too and they fit in the hole of the ruler so if you cut that off and you glue it up just right now you have a, a pretty decent structure for a, a pulse motor and that's a real good rotor there That one there is real good. Not a long time, and uh, all it is is it's a hole drilled in that um, dowel. Here again with crazy glue put down the hole, and that's a uh, plastic bead that I stuck in the hole of the ruler, and then I put some uh, um, aluminum tape on the bottom there, just so the needle doesn't go through. But that made a real good structure for a. Uh, a rotor for a real nice uh, pulse motor. Anyway, these are just a couple of things I did today. I thought I'd share them. You know, like I say, it was a cold, windy uh, Santa Ana wind uh, here in Southern California with a lot of smoke and fires. Thanks for watching.